Hello guys, you're with Chris537 up here in Cincinnati from the Anarchy Underground. We've got the old 300 pod modem. We will not be using the quantum link disc today, but I want to show you the inside of the box. No warranty information for Commodore. I uh, kind of dug this out, thought we'd try to use it today. It is the uh, old Commodore modem 300. That rarely ever gets used. Probably haven't been used since the 80s with my SD card that we're going to load Nova Term with. Fire up the old Commodore. We're going to go through the Asterix server through our Linux PAP2T down here. And our fax machine's kind of in a way to block it. Uh, we did some configuring. We've been experimenting with 300 baud in the past. So I thought we'd give it a shot. So let's load up some Nova Term. So that's just a small demo, just for the fun of it. And um, thought it'd be cool to get one of these old modems working. It's been a long time since I used a 1660. We have to go to configuration though. First thing we're going to do is change our terminal emulation to standard 40 color or column I mean <laughs> 300 baud change our modem type to 1660 since that's the modem we're using um, if you guys do decide to use a 1660 modem uh, hit the right cursor key and make sure it's not on SwiftLink you want to go down and uh, highlight the user port because I usually use SwiftLink on this specific um, SD card, I guess you can say. F1 to exit. Go into terminal mode. And uh, we're going to go through phone lines. And white lines, the one that came with it. And it does do pulse only, which wouldn't work through my PBX system. So I'm going to dial out on my old telephone. So let's do it. Since we're in the... Um, Asterisk server on the 337 exchange. I gotta do it straight up. Here's our carrier. So we're gonna pick the mode up. And you will notice we got carrier detect. Type in my password here. Hmm, must have hit something wrong. There's a little bit of line noise in there. But that's what it's like at 300 baud, guys. So it is a functioning modem. And there we go. We're on D dial <laughs> with a little bit of line noise. <laughs> this is how we did chat rooms back in the day. And I just wanted to demonstrate for you guys how easy it was. And I'm typing with one hand. <laughs> it even tells you how long that you've been connected. This is our chat room back in the day, y'all. Our instant message. <laughs> So, um, thought you guys would enjoy some old vintage stuff here, where you save time on your connection, you save money when you call long distance. <laughs> Gotta love it. And make sure you check out DJ's channel. And there you go, the TX. DJ. So make sure you check him out too, man. 
And if you notice on the PAP, line number two will be flashing because we've got an active connection on it. But that is that 300 baud said, a little bit of line noise that came up. That's not too bad after we configured the, the asterisk. Which I'm sure most of you viewers might not know what the asterisk server is or CNET, asterisk CNET. So, I just wanted to demonstrate the old 300 baud modem. Blast from the past with my Commodore 64 from 1983. And I'm just kind of showing you guys what we used to do back in the day. And there it is. So I hope you all enjoy the video. Peace out.